All right, so far we have seen system.xml and xpad. Now we're going to look into system.xml.link or link to XML, in other words. Um, we are going to repeat the same process, but using link to XML, um, the newer way of working with XML files. All right, let me go over some of the differences. So these are some of the differences um, when we create an instance or an element or a node, so on and so forth. So basically it appears that uh, the XML word here is replaced by an X and linked to XML. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the method call differences as well. All right, let me get my marker. All right. So we had, uh, let's actually, whoopsie. All right, let's zoom in a little bit, okay. So over in uh, system.xml, we had the XML document. In link to XML, we have X document to create the instance. Uh, to create element, we had XML element. Now we have X element. Uh, there's a slight difference here where we used to call the document to create the element. Here it's self-contained, just creates, uh, we call the new element to create a new uh, element. Um, slight difference, appending the child. We had append child. Here we have add child. Um, this is same, that stays same. And we had inner XML here. Here we don't have it. So, a few differences here and there. Okay. That being said, let's switch to Visual Studio and get going. Okay, I'm, again, I'm going to start with creating an XML file. So let's create our first method, static void. Create XML file. Okay. So again, uh, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be relatively similar. We're going to start with X, uh, create an instance. So with link to XML, we use X document to create an instance. So as soon as we do that, the namespace will light up, telling us that we are using the namespace right now. Uh, so let's call this X doc variable and tell it to create a new document for us. Okay, once that's created, next we are going to need a root element. And to do that, we need our X element. So X element, let's call this X root, new X element. And inside prints, we need the quotation, double quotes, and the name of our element. In our case, it's movies. So our root is movies, all right. And after that, we need to tell the document to add the new child or the root element. So xdoc.add and pass in our um, root, x root. Okay, so that's done. Now we can, I think, print it out on the screen. So let's go ahead and call our console.write line and pass in our X doc document. All right. Let's build this. I 
wish that called the method before a build, but that's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and call our method, create XML file. And we, we're going to need our console.read line to wait. Okay, let me make sure it's the startup project. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. As expected, we have our movies root element. That's perfect. Let's close that out and save the file. Not everything is in the memory so far. Well, when the program runs, I mean, right now, not right now, but when we run it, it's in. It creates it in the memory. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, call xdoc. Dot save. And we need to get our let's get our file path from here from the uh, program.cs. Let's get in there and copy that with control C and pass it in here. Mm -mm, I think I cleared it by accident. Whoopsie. Let me go back to the uh, what did I just do? Alright, that's what I meant. Alright, so let's go ahead and try copy again. Control C, come back here and paste it. And let's change the uh, file name to movies. Let's call this movies2.xml. And let's add, insert our add symbol to clear the errors. And that should do it. Let's rebuild and run it. Okay, so the file ran without any problems. Let's go ahead and check to see whether it's created. Let's go ahead and click on the project name, select add and select existing item. Let's switch to all files over here. And sure enough, our file is right there. Let's click Add. And double click on the file to open it. All right, so our root element is created alongside with a uh, declaration statement. So I guess you can say the beauty of link to XML, it creates a declaration statement for us. Not that we need it, but it's, it's there. So we're going to stop here and uh, continue with adding items to the uh, root in the next video. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I see you in the next one. Take care.